Rutherford Issues with Brian Barrett on FM 101.9 and AM 1450 Murfreesboro, FM 100.5 Smyrna. Listen and watch at WGNSRadio.com. We're back on Rutherford Issues, powered by Middle Tennessee Electric, and their charitable foundation is called Sharing Change. And that's funded by members who round up their electric bills to the nearest dollar each month as a donation, supporting hundreds of nonprofits. Discover more at sharingchange.org. Well, it's uh, time to talk about the United Way of South Central Tennessee. And we're going to be talking taxes this morning and VITA and all that good stuff. Debbie Curtis, the VITA coordinator, is here. Good morning. Good morning, Brian. Good to see you. Always good to see you. And uh, I know that when your visits are frequent that um, it's about to get busy. Yes, yes, definitely. We're um, already working. um, You know, we had a great season uh, ending in uh, April of uh, 2024, just seven months ago. (laughs) And uh, uh, the total total of um, dollars brought back to the community in refunds and service fees were over $2.2 million. So it was a, a great, um, you know, uh, year for us, a tax season that's just more money that uh, families are putting into their pocket that they really need, that they can uh, maybe have some more financial stability. And um, we're always also happy to um, help them with any questions so that the next tax year, they'll have you know a, a better sense of what the, what they've done and that they've you know are making inroads to that financial stability. Well, um, I, I mentioned that you were the VITA coordinator, right. but uh, what is VITA? It is the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. We are funded by the IRS, and um, I want to give out a shout out to the IRS. And of course, Congress is the one that kind of runs the boat that way. So um, it it's really was uh, funded uh, for the Earned Income Tax Credit. And this is a tax credit, and I want to focus on earned. This is earning families um, that can receive credits. And those are $20 billion now um, that the Congress um, primarily um, allocates for these uh, earned income credits. And what's happening is there's about about 10% or more, it may be 20%, but anyway, it's um, actually... $200 $200 million is left on the table every oh, year that wow. is not collected. And so what the VITA program does is it makes sure that people who um, are in lower to middle income uh, households c- can get a reputable, uh, you know, certified preparer for free <laughs> and that we are going to adhere and make sure that they get every tax credit, every dollar back to their pocket. So... Why is it, do you think, that so much is left on the table? Is it just people don't know about the earned income tax credit? I think that that's some of it. Um, The other part of it is that, you know, taxes are like going to the dentist to feel, excuse me, it's just not one of our favorite things to do. Apologies to all the dentists that are listening. (laughs) Yes, yes, because, you know, we can't do, I I love to eat, so, you know, dentists are important to me. (laughs) But the same thing with um, taxes in that it's, it's something that, um, you know, most people um, are kind of afraid of or unsure that they're going to have everything they need or that they can properly do their taxes. And sometimes people, you know, as we've seen since COVID, you know, sometimes people are having a hard time just struggling. So anything that's a little bit more than they have to do every day of their lives it just becomes such a big issue for them. And I, you know, I'm really proud. We have um, volunteers have been doing five years of service and more. I have someone up to tw- almost 20 years now. Wow. And um, th- they come and they trust us. And that's, you know, just the most marvelous thing to have people coming in, knowing that they're very nervous, uncertain, and they go, well, I'm back again because you'll take care of me. And so I think word of mouth is great, but also the program just needs to um, be propelled. And the way that, you know, all this great work and money is out there, unless we have the volunteers, which means we can have sites and them open more or longer, those type of things. Um, We just need to make sure that we're 
getting the word out and people know where they live, where they can find free tax service. You know, I, I was curious and I even jotted this down as you were talking to come back to uh, do you have people come back so I mean that's a pretty regular thing to have people right. come multiple years oh yes yes so um, I just celebrated my six year anniversary oh, with congrats. United Way woo woo and um, so and I started as uh, you know the VITA coordinator and I have people that have been with me um, were there before I came in and I have people that started a year later that are still with us and I think that the most the best part of my job is seeing the volunteers come back mm -hmm. because that means we're doing everything right and then I know if we have the volunteers that we will have clients that will will come right in. So And you have clients that keep coming back. So Exactly. They're coming 3 3 years, 4 years, they're bringing their kids um you know cuz they're having their first time jobs so that they can do it or they're going to college so now they need help with the education credits. So um you know it's uh it's an important service and even though I'll, I'll retire someday, I'm sure I know I'm going to still volunteer <laughs> with the VITA <Yeah>. program. <laughs> <laughs> we have Debbie Curtis with us. She is the VITA coordinator here for the local United Way. And how long has VITA been? You, you said you have been the coordinator for six years. Yes. It wasn't around too much before that, was it? Or maybe I so? I think a little over 10 years okay. ago. Um, it might... Uh, I think Greenhouse Ministries first um, had it, and then they were okay. kind of reaching a point where it was difficult for them. So, you know, United Way, we see something that's, you know, in the community that's a service. We don't want to let those kind of programs go. And so the um, United Way made a, a very conscious decision okay. to... Seems like um, I remember that. that yeah. yeah, to put keep that in um our rutherford county yeah most certainly and now that the uh, united way is not only rutherford county but south <laughs> central tennessee i'm yes. sure you're uh, you you added a little more to your backyard yes yes um we're still gonna have uh we'll be i do want to put put a plug in for smyrna we were um we're going back to the town hall annex um by then all the election stuff will be done. So we'll be back there um, uh, next year, which we're looking forward to in Patterson Park. And we do do um, a couple of days at Cannon County Senior Center. So we're over there. We also have some pop-ups at Motlow and MTSU. And we get some students um, that, that help us out there too uh, for volunteers. And um, then we will be going to uh, Shelbyville, Bedford County. Uh, we'll be over there at the Senior Center. And we'll be over there three days a week, so that's going to be new. And we're we're looking at um, Fayetteville, <laughs> all the way down in Lincoln County. But um, they've got a team there that have been going for thirty years oh, wow. with their program. So we'll be supporting them and helping um, get them, uh, you know, the tools they need so that they can continue and stay strong. Yeah. Well, it sounds like they're they've got a well-oiled machine. Yes, so. they've got great people. <laughs> yeah, uh, Debbie. So the uh, local vita here in in rutherford county you yes. mentioned um patterson park and in smyrna yes. are those the primary locations those are primary they're kind of our big hubs because okay. you can get from laverne within 10 to 12 minutes from the smyrna um to the smyrna location and rutherford county actually serve um rutherford i'm sorry patterson park actually serves a fairly wide area we um, have been getting people from shelbyville we get them from tullahoma um what is it uh college station i mean they come from all over we'll oh, get really? them beach grove college um, grove college grove thank yeah. you mcminnville so um so that seems to be and of course cannon county will come that way too so um murfreesboro locations usually a half an hour people to 40 minutes will travel for that free service and uh, maybe kind of um point us to where we need to go because there there are places you need to make make sure that um you know um what to have with you i guess right. uh, and, right. and maybe it's the website is that the easiest place to find all the, the things yes the website will definitely be um the easiest and um we do have a vita page uh that is specifically will have Im information and that will, we have that all year round. Of course, not all of it's live all year round in terms of you can't make an appointment yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's going to have to wait till January. <laughs> but um, 
but we do have uh, information on there on what to bring. We also have um, Patterson Park's been very good in their lobby. We have a table that'll have information of what to bring. We have um, posters uh, that we give to the town of Smyrna and the library so that they can see what um, documents are, are important okay. and, and, and required to bring. Well, right now is the uh, push for volunteers, and the more volunteers, the more people you can help. Exactly. It, 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 it truly is um, kind of, you know, you do all this planning, but unless it's like a party, unless you have people people there to start and help you out, it, it's um, probably our, our most important uh, place to be because you can plan places and times and all that but the, the the people element as we all know is 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 the fun part we offer free training um so we will do that in person we'll do it online we'll do a combination of training and the thing is is we want people to come to where they are we don't expect everyone to be tax preparers. We need translators. We need greeters. People help put documents together. People help people on a laptop um, to get information that maybe they didn't have or it's only on their phone and we can't read something. You know, I those see. type of things. So even just to set up or, or volunteer. And we're asking about three hours a week um, to 10 hours a week. It really bases you know basically it's on what people's availability is but we're really there to do one-on-one -on -one training because we want them to come back we want them to have a good time not just because they're doing something that helps their neighbors but because also they've got a team that's supporting them 100 percent. sure uh debbie curtis with us the vita coordinator for the united way of south central tennessee joining today and let's make sure we underline the fact that if you're listening and you're thinking vita that deals with taxes I, i'm yes. horrible at numbers there are so many more opportunities for you because you mentioned translators for instance mm -hmm. anyone who could speak a second language is vitally important correct correct yes and that's that's something that is like well we might not think think would be important but when you imagine talking about financial issues yeah. you're trying to really make sure you get correct data from you know, your your clients that you can only serve them if you truly understand the situation and uh, translators are most appreciated and that person who is there just to help make sure uh, that before they go into their appointment they have all of the right documentation right. if it's not printed out whatever yes. you need that kind of thing right. so and this is valuable skills too i'm yeah. talking about high school students college uh you know the the amount of um, skills that you are required and that you know get reinforced every day and that that ability to to feel like uh you know you're using your talents to um to help someone so where can we find uh, the local vita information online so you would find it on um, our website which is your y-o-u-r local u-w dot org and if you want to be fancy, you can put a forward slash and put VITA, V-I-T-A, and it'll take you right to that page. All right. Sounds good. I will make sure to put a link to that on the podcast, which will uh, go up here shortly in just a few moments. Debbie, thanks for stopping in. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Brian. You Absolutely. take care. And everyone, I hope you have a great holiday season. And I look forward to seeing you if you can come and help out. Debbie Curtis with the uh, United Way of South Central Tennessee and VITA coordinator joining us today. Again, that's your local uw.org slash VITA. And we'll get the uh, link to the podcast on the website. Be sure to stay with us. More local conversations straight ahead on the Big G.